incident and those NYPD officers were injured during a scuffle between a small group of protesters who clashed with a larger group during a unity march. CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge live in Lower Manhattan with the story. Natalie. Well, Maurice and Mary, the Unity Rally's message is to take back the city from violence, gangs, and outside agitators. But outside agitators is exactly who they were met by. Now, this rally started out peacefully, but it was interrupted by protesters, many of whom are from this defund the police encampment that's situated here outside of City Hall. Now, this clash resulted in several officers getting hurt. Walking side by side, a diverse group came together, Christian, Muslim, and Jewish faith leaders, law enforcement, citizens, and black veterans for social justice. Black lives matter, all lives matter. Stepping off from Cadman Plaza, a unity march calling to stop the violence and senseless shootings in the city. We are just fed up and tired of seeing a one-year-old shot, a 12-year-old paralyzed, all right? No, we need the police. What we're saying is we don't want police brutality. As the group started up the ramp to the Brooklyn Bridge, they were paused by police for an emergency incident. Clergy members breaking into prayer while they waited. From Chopper 2, you can see a group of counter protesters walk into traffic on the bridge, sitting on the roadway, protesting the Unity March. They say tilts in favor of the police. The NYPD tweeted this video saying four officers were attacked on the bridge, showing pictures of serious bloody injuries to the police, one to the head, another to the face. Chief of Department Terrence Monahan was one of those hurt, a sprain to his hand. The president of the Sergeant's Benevolent Association blaming Mayor de Blasio for the escalating violence and anti-police sentiment. If the mayor were doing his job properly, we wouldn't have these issues. If the DAs were prosecuting the laws, we wouldn't have these issues. But what we're seeing now is chaos in the city of New York. 34 people were arrested. Eventually, the Unity March was able to proceed over the bridge to a rally outside City Hall. On one side of the street, clergy preached the gospel. On the other side, another standoff with police. This time, the window of a government building smashed. A small group of about 30 protesters from the defund the police encampment refused to speak with the media. Do you want to say anything? Now, at one point, all the media were stopped from going onto the bridge to cover the protest. Now, we have heard in some cases, protesters have been posing as journalists, making it especially challenging for officers to differentiate between the two. We're live in Lower Manhattan, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. Okay, Natalie, thank you.